Here we are downstairs. I always like to start at my favorite room, the magic little toilet room. You can see there we've got the uh, Corian installed and getting nice and sunny for November here. And uh, you can see how the sunlight just comes through that transparent Corian. It's so nice. There's our toilet. Finally got the missing little bits of hardware from it. Unfortunately, and this is one of the problems of buying stuff at Hootsma, or not Hootsma, but Hornbach or uh, Home Depot or any one of these low-end retailers. Unfortunately, in order to change the toilet seat, you have to remove the toilet from the wall. So this toilet is going to have to come off the wall again just to replace the toilet seat since the mounting bolts come in from the back. Yep, yep. Those little bolts right there, the only way to access them is from the back. So, a lesson to those thinking to save money, <laughs> you're not. Um, same thing happened in here. We had a track light that was purchased also from an uh, inexpensive uh, retailer. This, in this case, I think it was Gamma or Praxis, similar to a Home Depot in the United States. And uh, a real janky piece of crap that, uh, as it turned out, didn't work anyway because it hung down too low for these doors to clear. So we ended up pulling that out last night. And we may use it in another room, but uh, boy howdy, it's just not a very nice unit at all. So, that said, let's go on to stuff that's looking really good. And that would be the Corian walls in the bathroom. Let's see if I can back up enough so you can get an idea what this looks like. There you can see all that's left is just putting in that final MDF trim and painting that. And we've got some oak strips that are going to cover up the, what's remaining there of the stainless steel. This is really an example of excellent, excellent teamwork because we have somewhere around 10 different materials all coming together in one location. On this side, we had the original steel beam, which, for those who've been paying attention, we found out wasn't exactly round, and it actually been cut right about there, welded and bent out. So we had to first frame for that and make the room, make the room truly round. We've got drywall that fits on there. We've got framing. We've got the original steel beam. We've got the stainless steel frame that holds the Corian, and we have the Corian itself, which had to be ordered eight weeks in advance of the project. It wasn't a last minute thing that you could just order on the inside, of course. We have waterproof wetty board that's 30 centimeters thick that uh, come that's uh, used to make the place waterproof and uh, only available in that thickness <clears throat> for when you're talking about something that needs to curve. So in here, of course, we've got uh, drywall. We've got, or not drywall, we've got plaster on top of wetty board, mat matching with uh, tile, and of course, the stainless steel frame on the inside. It's too bad this isn't exactly cleaned up yet. There's our tile meeting with the uh, this one looks a little better and you can see the quality there. We've just got the framing to put in and that's today's project. And again we've got uh, some cabinets here all wrapped up right now that we'll be installing today and before I leave we'll do Final update so you can see just how this place is coming out. All for now.